Right, we can look at this one. Damage 3 out of 10. Utility 8 out of 10. Survivability 7 out of 10. Complexity 5 out of 10. Hero's Heart has it as well. Okay. After 1 second, channel for 3 seconds. Putting enemy heroes in front of Deckard to sleep while channeling. And for two seconds after. Once per cast. If they take damage, they wake up. Uh, so it's not like Mosh Pit. Bigger area. Longer wind up than Mosh Pit. Doesn't reapply. And they, and they wake up once they take damage. And it doesn't deal damage, but that's the same as Mosh Pit. Lornado. Push them, but no damage. No, it's not a five second sleep. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right. Yeah, Tanku is right. Five second sleep max. Throw a healing potion on the ground that heals the first allied hero that comes in contact with it for 230. Limit zero active potions. I think they mean five. It says it puts enemy heroes to sleep while channeling. And it says you channel for three. So they are asleep for three. Plus two after. Throw the Horadra cube, dealing 80 damage to all enemies and slow them 40% one three quarter seconds. Unfurl an enchanted scroll, forming a triangle that deals 150 damage to enemies inside and roots them for one and a half seconds. But it doesn't say how long it takes for the triangle to form. It should say that. I mean, you can see it. It's based on the animation, right? But I feel like it should say that. Okay, cool. Now let's find the talents. Yeah, I found that the triangle traveled very slowly. There's already build stats on Hero's Hearth. <laughs> how can there be percentages of how often a build gets picked when he isn't at? Yeah, it was very bright as well. Who still does pages in white? Um, let me try another. Um, what website do I use again? Sionic. Oh, they don't have them yet. Yikes. All the talents were there. Yeah, but it was super white. It's probably the percentage of people that uses it on their... Uh, in their build, that's true. You know what else is super white? What? 
You? Hmm. I see. <clears throat> you can reskin Hero's Hearth to make it black. Okay. Let me try. In the top right? Uh, you mean when you log in? I don't have a login yet. You have to be logged in, I guess. Icy Veins has it. Icy Veins Decker Kane. Is Decker Kane next? Question mark. Okay, this one will do. When at least one other allied hero is nearby. <clears throat> no, let's uh, let's introduce this a bit. So we've just watched the Deckard Kane The Last Horadrim Spotlight from Blizzard. It was a five minute video that we just saw. And now we found on Icy Veins his talent kit and cooldowns, which we were not uh, sure of yet. So here we are. Um, all right, abilities. So his trait, when at least one allied hero is nearby, and we can see the circle here, and it looks to be about range five, uh, about Phoenix's short auto attack range. Deckard Kane gains 10 armor, and his basic abilities recharge 50% faster. So a 10 second cooldown will take 6.6 seconds to recharge i believe primary abilities healing potion it costs 20 mana the cooldown is three seconds you can have up to five and they heal for 230 when someone picks it up you can also throw it on someone directly a roger cube 14 seconds cooldown 40 mana pretty cheap that is cheap for such a long cooldown. Throw the cube, dealing 80 damage and slowing down. Then, scroll of ceiling. Arr, arr, arr. 16 second cooldown. Again, only 40 mana. Unfurl an enchanted scroll. And it does a 1.5 second root and 150 damage. That's quite a lot for a support. And... What I can say is that it took a long time, we saw in that video, to form this triangle. It doesn't say in the tooltip, but you always have to get a little adventurous and hands-on with uh, Blizzard's tooltip. So, pretty easy to dodge. I mean, we're talking like, probably easier to dodge than Warden's Cage even. Because he has no way to push someone in. Unlike at Warden's Cage, where Maiev can pull them in. Heroic abilities, 60 second cooldown for the ranged giant weak version of Moshpit. And then 40 mana, 30 seconds cooldown for a boss tornado. The, can you control it? Oh, it travels in a, it travels in a targeted direction. So it's like Naga Sea Witch Alt from Warcraft 3. Some of the cooldowns are going to be shorter, especially the basic abilities, because of his trait. So 3 is 2, 14 is 10, 16, and so on. Whatever. Uh, yeah, it's like Nagasi Witch Alt. Lady Vash. Talents. Courtesy of Invent Global. I should click it just to show you. That's this website. It's a good website. I think uh, it's probably seeded by Dorazio the third, Nick Dorazio. He 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 provides content on that website. Definitely worth checking out. I'm just checking it here because it's darker, easier to see. Scroll of Identify. Hitting an enemy hero with scroll of ceiling reveals them for eight seconds. That's the quest. Well, the, this is not a quest, 
This is uh, an effect. The initial effect is you get an 8 second reveal. The quest is hitting an enemy hero. The reward is after you hit 20. You armor debuff them. And it's a 16 second reveal? Oh. I see. Well, maybe Invent Global phrased it better. Let me check. Sorry for the brightness. No, it's, it's poorly phrased here too. That seems insane. Revealing someone for 16 seconds. It's not as much as Warcraft 3's Druid of the Talents with Fairy Fire. But uh, it's more than anything else in HOTS. Field Study. E. Each enemy hero hit by scroll ceiling grants 15% spell power for 14 seconds, up to 30%. That's incredibly powerful as well. Activate to increase the slow of the next Haradra cube by 30%. Increase by 30%. And it does 40. So it doesn't become 70. Or 53.3333333 infinitely repeating. Fifty-two actually, sorry. It's not actually a third, is it? 30%. 52% or 70. It's 70% that's in the trailer. Okay. 70% slow for the next cube. Only one gem may be active at the same time. So this is a sapphire gem. You can talent it at level 1. At level 4, you can activate the ruby. Activate to make the next cube spawn three lesser healing potions from each enemy hero hit. Healing allied heroes for 190 when picked up instead of 230. Lesser healing potions last for 10 seconds. Only one gem may be active. And the third one, emerald ge perfect gem. Activate to make the next cube reduce healing received by 75% for 4 seconds. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty good. But taking all three abilities... Gives you more flexibility and versatility. But because they are exclusive of each other at the time of casting... It's probably a trap to take all three. Most likely you'll take either Sapphire or Ruby or Emerald. Occasionally you might want to take two out of the three. But to actually go for all three, you would lose out on all this. You would lose out on all this and on all this. And I can't imagine that you would ever want to do that. It would have been more, I guess, logical and intuitive to put all gems on the same tier. So that you make a choice then, or just to give them all baseline. Because now you are inhibiting yourself on, on synergy with the rest of your tree by taking... I can't imagine that, that, that all three are going to get picked. That would be really crazy. But they, yeah, they give you the option to be more flexible and they don't want to go Lunara, Quadruple, Wisp Talent at level 4. Halogen likes it, you get to make a decision. Sure, let's keep an open mind. Let's keep it. I'm just trying to... I guess I'm like trying to guess how it's going to pan out, but I don't know. The cubes also have a cooldown, so you can't use one on cooldown with the cube. I don't understand that oddness. Oh, the gems have a cooldown. Yeah, 30 seconds, right? So sometimes 
Okay, so if you if you perma cast cubes, you don't always have your gem available. So sometimes you want to use a different gem. Makes sense. So that's why I thought maybe. Uh, yeah, actually, with when you are full CDR, your cube is probably like 10 seconds. Because right now the cube is 14. When you get full CDR, you can use it every 10 seconds. And that probably lines up perfectly with all three gems, which are 30, 30, 30. So you can do three different kinds of cubes in a row within the same space that the first gem regenerates. Might be, might be. Okay, well, there, there's an argument for it then. Now, level 4. Potion of Shielding. Whenever an ally is healed by a healing potion, they also gain a shield. Which is about 60% of the healing value. Because healing was 230. Get 135 shield. Cool. Pretty useful. Also, restore mana. And heal for an additional 108 over 4 seconds. Oh, interesting. Cool. Rejuvenation Potion. Do you guys see the flickering here on my shoulder? That's uh, the, the death throes of my studio lighting. Rip. Or maybe I'm getting beamed up by Scotty. Cube Mastery. Each enemy hero hit by Horandra Cube reduces the cooldown of scroll ceiling by 3 seconds. Okay. Straightforward cooldown synergy. Kanai's cube. Haraja cube reduces damage dealt by 30%. Okay, this is like a shrink cube. Everyone that gets caught in the cube gets shrunk a bit. A group shrink ray. Cool. We've read about this, we've seen about it. 13. Ancient blessings. Activate. Fortitude of the Faithful to, and this is trait, so it becomes an activatable, to empower nearby allied hero basic attacks for 8 seconds, causing them to deal an additional 80% cleave and a heal for 120 for each hero hit. That's pretty damn strong. That's an interesting, better version of Tyrande's level 16 people heal off of your trait. I think that's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Super healing potion. If a healing potion isn't picked up for at least two seconds, it heals for 75% more. Very strong, but with a very interesting drawback. Namely, you can't throw it on someone and allies can misplay by stepping onto it too early because they don't get it. And allies can misplay by not wanting to step on it because they need more heal, thereby Arya denying themselves. And you can misplay throwing it in the wrong place, where it's either unignorable because they need to walk past it, or by throwing it on them. So a lot of drawbacks, but with a very powerful upside. I like it. Potion of Revival. This is like Alex Straza on Overdrive. <laughs> the abundance healing from Alex. Every potion from Deckard is potentially in the wrong place. Or oh, in the right one. Probably you can scout with potions. Good question, Decepti. Hey, and what is this? Basic attacks get empowered. They deal 80 damage in an area. And 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 Max Nahilbuk from chat is saying it's 80 damage. It's not a percentage. Imagine on Tassadar, Tri Tracer, and Tychus. Are they really dealing 80 damage more per hit? Their damage would be over 9,000. It's a one second cooldown per hit. Oh, okay. That's a very classy way of 
limiting the maximum amount of uh, buff usage someone can get can get out of it. Interesting. So no one with faster attack than once per second can make use of that. And if you have a slower attack than one second, you get less use out of it. So it is essentially the most powerful on someone with attack speed one. That's not entirely true. It's equally powerful on someone with attack speed one as it is on attack speed half. And in fact, the half attack speed can make use of it easier because he doesn't need to hit 100% of his attacks to make full use of it. So it's still easiest to make use of it on quick attacks, but someone with slower than one will lose value. Clear. Whenever a healing potion is picked up, it also heals all nearby allied hero for 40% of the hit. Oh. Hmm. Or need to know the radius. They should really say the radius. Blizzard, are you listening? Please write radius. Radius two, three, two and a half. Okay. For Roderick's staff, every five seconds, Deckard's next basic attack stuns heroes for three quarter seconds. Wow. Get booped. He is a melee hero, okay. Trash talent, says someone. Are you sure? <laughs> Safety in numbers. At least three allied heroes are... If at least three allied heroes are nearby, Fortitude of the Faithful grants an additional 10 armor and causes Deckard's basic abilities to recharge an additional 50% faster. So he gets 20 armor and double cooldown speed. Scroll of Stone Curse. Scroll Ceiling deals triple damage when hitting more than one. That's pretty good. Because it does 150 damage at level zero. So it'll do 450 at zero. So at, this at level 16 it'll do like 800 damage. No. Eight. Yeah, 800 damage, I think. Something like that. More NATO. <laughs> Half the cooldown time but double the cooldown speed, Tanku. Um, more Nados. Lore Nado cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds every time an enemy hero is knocked by. LOL? And it was already 30. You can have so many lore Nados. Stay a while and listen. Silences and blinds enemies for two seconds upon waking up from sleep. <laughs> That's me when I wake up. Uh, can barely speak or see. But I'm not elderly. That's weird. Perfect gems. Reduce the cooldown of all gems by 25 seconds. And the cooldown of Haradri Cube by 5. So you can literally every 5 seconds, if you've got your trait up, Every five seconds you're putting out gem one, gem two, gem one, gem three on the cube. 70% slow, healing debuff, blah, 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 blah. Wow, that's very incredibly powerful. Bottomless flask. After use, healing potions recharge after five seconds. Right, we saw that in the video. And I'm assuming it happens only once. And not infinitely. 